one of the key components of the bill that we're looking at is what the regulator looks like. I don't think as it's proposed at the moment is fit for purpose. So we've got to make sure that the checks and balances are appropriately in place for any decisions to be made. So the public can actually have some confidence that there's a robust process there that we go through. It's not just a open slather, which I think was probably uh, you know, a little bit reflected in the initial bill. And if New Zealand First members, including yourself, obviously, are not happy with it, you don't have to vote for it. And does that scupper it, potentially? Well, it is part of the coalition agreement. And as I said, there's a number of utilisations around, you know, stuff that can be developed in a lab. I don't think there's too much contention within the parliamentary parties that that's something that can be progressed because we're not letting anything out that, we can't put back in a bottle somewhere. So that part of it almost certainly will proceed. It's just how we go into field release and what that process would look like, if at all, at this stage. So that's how we're looking at it. We've been pretty clear in that first reading speech that we want to see the evidence. So we're weighing that pretty carefully. We're working closely with the organic sector, for example, to see the impact on them. And interestingly, the big food exporters, the Fonteras, the Zespries, the like, they're throwing some caution around this as well. So it's not just a fringe element of people in New Zealand First Voters or a cohort like that. There is genuinely wider concern about how this bill is shaping at the moment. And as the Minister for Rural Communities, what do you hear from those communities regarding this? What are they telling you? There's a bit of concern. I think one of the main feedbacks is that people don't really feel like they know a lot about it, that it's being rushed through a little bit, and they want to know a little bit more. You know, the feedback's been pretty strong, actually. That's something that I think will have taken some politicians by surprise. Not ourselves, but actually there is a lot of interest in this bill. 15,000 submissions, heavily urging caution or outright against. So, you know, those voices are being heard. We're taking them forward. And, yeah, we'll see how it plays out. 